hello welcome back to my channel and my online course today we are going to learn chocolate making and our recipe is crackers chocolate now why I am calling it crackers as because we are going to add some crunchy things into the chocolate and uh, when you eat it you it is going to crack okay so let's begin this is dark chocolate and this is milk chocolate you can take off any brands there is no issue with the, uh, what brand you have to take or not I, I will show you what I am using but that is totally optional you can use any of the brands you like I got this in the market so I've tried it it's good there's no problem with that so you can always take that I've taken milk chocolate and I have taken dark chocolate so let's begin we are going to boil this melt the chocolates in double boiler now let me tell you other ingredients also these are tiny rice balls and this is little uh, complex I have taken so these are the only ingredients we are going to use now for making the chocolate so let's go to the boiler uh, double boiler now this is a double boiler I have uh, created I have taken one uh, kadai uh, and down below is the is a vessel in which I have put some water this is how you have to create a double boiler like this you can see the water in this and this is how I am going to melt the chocolates I have chopped the top chocolates into uh, not very small pieces but uh, you can do that and as the chocolate was not in the fridge so it was easier for me to chop it and another option is you can always try this this is a uh, I'll keep it here this is a milk cooker this is a milk cooker and here is the knob from where you can fill the water inside and uh, then it works as a double boiler then you don't have to make some anything like this just simply <coughs> put the chocolate in this and you can melt it so I wanted to show you both the methods that's why I'm not using this okay now we will just wait for the chocolates to melt in between it is suggested that you please keep stirring your chocolate simmer the flame as high flame will uh, make the chocolates burn so let's wait for it to get melted my chocolate has got melted very nicely you can see so what we will do is <coughs> I have mixed rice flakes and uh, sorry rice uh, balls and uh, some uh, cornflakes I have crushed so I will be adding this into my chocolate like this and you just have to mix it if you really like a lot of crunchy uh, flavor then you can add some more of rice balls there's no problem with that and if you want more cornflakes you can always take it and crush it and just add it to it these rice balls you can always get it in the same bakery shop from where you will get chocolates so let's just put it into, into the molds before it gets set so I'll be just pouring in my mold. This is the cracker chocolate. I have mixed two slabs, basically two bases. That is the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate because if you just do it milk, it is going to be very sweet. And if you take only dark it's going to be really bitter so just to balance the taste I have added equal okay so I've added in the with the right portion of these chocolates notes are uh, there with you you can refer those notes and just Tap it so that the air bubble is out and just try to remove the extra chocolate. 
chocolate. You can see any space there, just fill it up. Like this. So now your chocolate is ready to go into the fridge and leave it in the fridge for 10 minutes and we will see then how it is. Okay, I've removed the chocolate from the fridge. One I have already unmolded and we will do the unmolding of the chocolates. So you just have to push. The best part about silicon molds is you just have to push it up and it comes out. So I always prefer silicon molds. But yeah, sometimes I get a nice mold which is not available in silicon. So I go and buy for that. That's not a problem. For that you just have to tap it and it comes out. Silicon mold you have to push up. So my chocolates are ready. You can see it is really very shiny. Now on the sides if you can see there is some extra chocolate. So as the chocolate has already taken shape, you can just trim off the extra chocolate from the sides and give it a nice finishing. Okay. So our chocolates are ready. Crackers, crunchy chocolate. I hope you enjoyed the video. Just try it and do let me know. Have fun. Bye-bye. Thank you.